And I've got your shirt on. Look, it's your Hawaiian shirt. I don't own a Hawaiian shirt. So, so I've got the girls' sunnies and your Hawaiian shirt. It's summer. Aren't I supposed to be the one doing the humour and you're the serious one? <laughs> we can take it in turns. Okay, alrighty. So welcome. It is still Monday night. We just did a draw for some oil stuff before, but that's nothing to do with right now. It is Monday night, it's Kim's Top 5, and tonight it is Kim's Top 5 for... Summer. Elton John. Summer! <laughs> Summer! So, to, um, to commemorate that moment, we, we always try to pick like a I'm song. I look like I'm going off to war or something. I know, like your camouflage... Everyone's camouflage Hawaiian shirt. The Hawaiian army. Okay. <laughs> so here's a song for you. See, this is a little summer song, so... I'll pop along. <laughs> That's really putting me off. <laughs> anyway, you may know this one. Me and some boys from school Had a band and we tried real hard Jimmy quit, Jody got married Should've known, never get far But when I look back now That summer seemed to last forever And if I had a choice You know I'd always wanna be there Those were the best days of my life Back in the summer of 69 Oh yeah Can I stop now? Okay Hold on, I just have to do that Is that what they do in that song? In rock and roll they do We do that all the time, baby Right Okay, so anyway, You can tell just, I'm not in rock and roll Let me get rid of this Should I take off my Sonny? <laughs> we don't need those funny things that Sarah and... Um, you guys use. We just have our own version of the, yep. the baby shark thing. It's Kim's Top 5 unfiltered. <laughs> so anyway, we are talking about Kim's Top 5 for summer. Obviously, summer's just begun, at least where we are, in Australia. And that's pretty important. It's a big deal, summer, isn't it? So It's my favourite month, probably. Well, oh, season. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah no, mine too. Who has blonde hair? Definitely. Love the beach, love getting out, love all that stuff. But summer's not without its hazards either. So, so we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff, and you're going to give us your top five. So, yes. do you want to just get into it, or have you got a no? Because you told me tonight had to be punchy. Punchy. Because I've yep. already watched this once, yep. so they don't want to yep. watch this again. You can have too much of a good thing. So, let's go. What's your number five? Okay. Um, so we all know that in summer we get rather dehydrated. We don't necessarily drink enough water um, to keep up with the busy life yeah. and out in the sun and the heat and all that kind of stuff. So one of the things that I do is add a little bit of Ninja to my water bottle. Um, you don't have to add very much. It's not the red drink that I, you know, that we've talked about before. This yeah. is just a splash of Ninja to give it some flavour, yeah. um, and it just gives you um, not just flavor, but like a little bit of sugar on those hot days. I mean, they're natural sugars. There's mm -hmm. like fruit sugars in this and there's a zero calorie sweetener, um, which is stevia. Anyway, we've talked a lot about Ninja on previous weeks, so I'm not gonna go there and tell you all about Ninja yeah. again. <laughs> we might put a link down below to the To our previous week, yeah. Ninja, yeah, yeah, where we talked about the top five reasons you should drink Ninja. But well, we, we spent the week at a festival down in Dubbo and it was hot and it was That's dusty, why my hair looks like this. So yeah. I still haven't yeah. had a shower. No, I had a but shower. We did, we did but kind not of survive on ninja. With, we did. We drink water, lots we? and lots of yeah. ninja. So yeah. um and it was really hot out there. So you know just putting a splash of ninja in our water bottles made a huge difference. Yeah. And um so that's you know something that you definitely should try over summer. Um and a bit of extra energy too was good. Yeah extra energy. Yeah. Okay so number five ninja in the water bottle. Alrighty, number four. Okay, so this is kind of a champagne. drink as well. Oh. No, we're not having champagne. So Sorry. if you're the designated driver or you don't like to drink or anything like that, I'm going to give you a... Well, you can make cocktails with the Ninja Red and certainly if you're coming to our team Christmas Ninja party Ninja. at my house on Saturday afternoon, we'll be having lots of Ninja and cocktails and things like that. But I thought I'd show you like just a quick little thing with my product number, five, uh, number, four, number four, 
which is the Salique Essence. Okay, uh -huh. so Salique Essence has Okatea. Um, Okatea is another one of those oils that Young Living, um, I think it might be exclusive to Young Living. Gary yes. went into the jungle and, and found Okatea. It's in the cinnamon family, so it's, quite, it's cinnamony. Um, it's got spearmint, lemon. I told you the list before. Did you remember, Jeremy? I've forgotten that um, everyone except Okatea and spearmint. Okay. Um, lemon, um, I think it's got like mm, tangerine maybe, but anyway, it's got stevia in it, so it's quite sweet. So we'll post them in the if, comments. Um, as well. <laughs> so Salique Essence, okay, it's on the culinary list. So I just do one drop. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you've had Salique Essence before, have you? I've, oh, now you've got two drops. I've got two. You so must I'll need be two. even sleeker. So that's right. If you want a Salique body for Christmas or for summer to you know so that you're looking rather sleek yeah I hope this isn't going to explode because I haven't it is oh, I haven't opened it but it's um soda water so just I know I Nicole um McDonald up in um the Gold Coast she drinks this all the time um so it's just a one drop of Salik essence um with some soda water and it just makes a nice refreshing alternative to alcohol so if you don't drink alcohol or you're the designated driver this christmas or even if you just want to break up your drinks so yeah. if you're going to the work christmas party and you don't want to be the person that they laugh at it on monday not that i'd know what that's like at all no, <laughs> um then alternate your drinks so have one glass of bubbly and one glass of this kind of bubbly so cheers, cheers. Mm. So yeah, so if you live close to us and you want to pop over on Saturday afternoon between 1 and 3 o'clock, please do so. I expect all you girls from Karatha to be there, don't you Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> um, this, it's so, not that far. Yeah, so we are having a teen Christmas party this yep. Saturday afternoon um, and there'll be plenty of Salique cocktails and Ninja Salique. cocktails. So did so you look, like that? I did. I, I like it, the spearminty kind of flavour. and, and obviously, Very spearminty. And when you think about summer people do think about beach bodies and all that kind of stuff so yep you can research Salik on the young living website yeah um, but it's it's great for so there's the also a, um you know the Salik challenge kit if you really want to look into the Salik stuff so there's Salik tea and there's a challenge kit and all of that kind of stuff so i really like the Salik essence um yeah. i put it in bliss balls and um mm -hmm. yeah all kinds of food and drink so also good for your kids too isn't it well, it's in the Salique toothpaste. It's yeah. what gives the Salique toothpaste yeah. its um, flavour because lots of kids, you know, they don't necessarily like the Thieves um, flavour in the toothpaste. So Young Living has put the Salique essence into the toothpaste. Okay, so number four, Salique. Yeah, the Salique right. essence. Essence. Yeah. essence. Alrighty, number three. I'm just now burping up Salique essence. Okay, so when you're outside on the veranda at our house on Saturday afternoon, <laughs> you can't go past Citronella. Yay. So I put citronella in the diffuser um, and I make a great outdoors spray out of citronella. Um, you know, what, else, what else is in the great outdoor spray? I'm thinking so, eucalyptus or melaleuca? Um, so tea tree, melaleuca yep. alternifolia. Yep. Yep. Um, look, I make different recipes as Sarah Stevens will tell you. I come up with a different recipe yep. um, all the time and forever, whenever, whenever, like our bottle, our spray bottle is out on the veranda and I'll just go out when it's running out and I'll just add some more citronella or some kunzia or some yep. tea tree or some peppermint. Um, there's another oil which I've now found out we're not allowed to apply topically so I can't add that to it anymore. Um, that's been stolen from us well yeah I'm just not allowed to include it in the recipe okay. um, yep. but that's okay so now we're just doing citronella kunzia tea tree peppermint you can put some lavender some rosemary even thyme is great in your out great outdoors spray some witch hazel mm. and distilled water so but in general I like putting citronella in the um, in the diffuser or even mixing it with some coconut oil and applying it topically yeah. Uh, especially to you know my ankles and my feet if I'm going bushwalking. Yeah. So. And it's very effective. We, and it's natural too. So instead of spraying yourself with toxic Stuff. chemicals, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember travelling to New Guinea and the spray stuff that we were given to use was frightening in what it included. Anyway, okay. So number three, citronella. Awesome. All right. Number now two. number two actually is at my mum's house in her fridge. 
Um, and I think my sister gives her bottles of this as well because um, it's great. Like, we actually call it our ouchy spray, but um, for if the girls, you know, fall over or are scared or uh, anything, they, yeah. you know, basically we spray it on them because it's got lavender in it. It's very calming, so it calms them down. Mm. Um, but I actually really like it for after I've been out in the sun all day. Um, it's really quite cooling and refreshing and all of that kind of stuff. Now, it normally comes in a bottle that looks like this, but this is my Clariderm, and I, as I said, I haven't got the other one. And this is the one from the US. So this is the actual, um, what it's like. Um, but that's the bottle that it normally comes in. It's called Lavaderm, okay? I love Lavaderm as a face mister in summer. I carry it around in my handbag and just spritz it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's got lots of lavender in it, aloe vera. Um, yeah, it's really... It smells good. Smells yeah. great. Great for your skin. I know Danae uses it. Um, so yeah, if you use Lavaderm, let us know what you think. I love it. I keep it in the fridge so it's nice and cool when I come home from the being out in, at the beach in the sun post all beach, day. Yeah, yeah post-beach yeah. spray is Lavaderm. And you can feel it's, it really absorbs quite quickly too. So yeah, and I it's really so cooling. One of the things that we, on the weekend, because we were out at Dubbo and it was really hot, um, we made up a peppermint cooling spray. And it was just a few <laughs> drops of peppermint in um, some water. We actually used a solubilizer instead of witch hazel. Um, which is an almond based solubilizer. Solubilizers just disperse mm. the oil throughout the water better. And we were spraying everybody's arms and the back of their neck and, mm. and they were loving it, weren't yeah. they? But it does work with just water. Like we, we also did that as well. For some yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you just got to shake it up before you spray it. But people loved it. They, they'd walk past and I'd just Yeah, people sneak were up. coming back to get sprayed again. I'd sneak up behind them and just spray them. No, I wouldn't. No, I, I'd always ask them and then I'd spray them. Anyway. But they loved it. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along. You <laughs> told me I had to be quick tonight. So number two was... Did everyone see Jeremy's performance at the beginning of this? No. If not, you'll have to go back and watch him play guitar and sing. He's very, very good. Thank you. That yeah. was beautiful. I know. I know. He tells me my date. Telling positive things enough, so you've all got proof that I told him how good he is. Oh, <laughs> His head's okay. about this big now. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, number one. Okay, number one. I yeah. bet you can all guess what number one is. I don't know. I'm just sneaking a peek down there to see if I can work it out. It's the 50 plus SPF sunscreen. Yeah. Okay. And okay. We've, we've talked about this before, but it's worth repeating, I reckon. Yeah, I think we talked about it in the Christmas week, but yeah. the Christmas catalogs, products, stuff. But because it's summer, you can't oh, go past exactly. this stuff, okay? 50 SPF, so really high S, um, sun protection factor. Um, it has no nanoparticles. A lot of sunscreen. I don't know if you can see my nose, but I've actually applied it on my I nose. What that was, I know yeah. because I wanted you to see. It, you kind of can see it, but it's not. Um, gee, it's scary looking this close at <laughs> 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 the camera. But you can kind of see it. It doesn't totally sink in okay but it's not like zinc like the cricketers use one of the main ingredients in it is zinc oxide okay ah, bugs are flying at me <laughs> um but so it does contain zinc oxide uh which is the what gives it sort of the sun protection yeah. um but it doesn't contain nanoparticles and sunscreens that actually absorb into your skin so you can't see them they use nanoparticle technology and those nanoparticles, they just don't know what they do um, long term, okay? Because they can cross the blood brain barrier. The blood brain barrier is like a sieve and they, these particles are so little that they get across the blood brain barrier and get into the brain. And that long term um, thing was, you know, the, the long term effect of that is not known. So, um, you know, that's why you've just got to be really, really careful. So. Um, and can I just throw in something here? Like, what's wrong with having sunscreen that you can still see? That the research you can research this for yourself, but the best sunscreen is still the it's magnesium oxide, isn't it? That's that's what it is. That's well, the zinc, white yeah. stuff. Sorry, zinc oxide. Zinc oxide does the best job, and the only thing is it just. You can see it. it just, and that I know, just seems crazy I can to me. see Kylie's comment about being in the pool for 30 minutes. Yep. Um, the thing is that being in the pool, you do have to reapply because it, I mean, even though it's water resistant, it's not waterproof. So you do have to reapply it fairly regularly. So, yeah. um, but they have formulated it to be 
better so it doesn't it doesn't just wash off that's, no but you do have to reapply it you know like it's not going to last as long as the ones that you buy in you know this the shops yeah. um because it is natural it's got natural ingredients in it and i mean nothing beats you know the whole slip slop slap and wearing yeah. a sun vest and things like that but certainly i've worn it on my face i mix yeah. it with the mineral foundation um to give it some you know like a tinted sunscreen <laughs> tinted moisturizer mm -hmm. um but yeah, so that's the sunscreen. At the moment, you can only get it in the Christmas pack uh, with the citronella, okay? And the little cooler bag that you can put, take your drinks and stuff to the beach in. Yeah. Um, from next year, you'll be able to order it as a single product. But this awesome. year, you can only get it in the Christmas catalog. And for Australia, it's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Especially 50, 50 SPF, yeah, yeah. 50 SPF, yeah. And, you know, the other thing is there's no parabens, no phthalates. So if you watched last week's um, Kim's Top 5 on chemicals, there's none of those in there. Um, no um, PABA, which used to be in a lot of sunscreens. Uh, no oxybenzoene. Um, none of the nasties, okay, which most sunscreens contain. So. Yeah. Awesome. So let's run through them again. So, so coming five in at number five was, was Ninja Red to Ninja. help with hydration. Yep. Start the day the Ninja Way. Whoa. Number four. Four is the Salique Essence, which I've just tonight showed you how to drink it with some soda water. Um, but you can mix it with anything really. So if you want to be sleeker. Salique this summer. Yep. yep. Salique. Try Salique. Yep. Uh, number three is good old Citronella. Um, as I say, pop it in the diffuser, um, yeah, add some coconut oil, all of those kinds of things. Yep. So. Okay, number two. Number two is lav Lavaderm, which is um, normally in a bottle like this. This is my US one. Um, and, you know, I love to spray it on after the, a day at the beach. And number one, so Kylie, you need some Lavaderm. <laughs> and number one, yep. Number and one is the Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. Uh, 50 SPF by Young Women. And that just leaves my number one, which brings me to another song. You may recognize this one. Summer loving happened so fast. Summer loving had me a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Shoot, try, baby. It's, uh, You're very John Travolta-ish. It's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It is good stuff. Do you like What do you like most about Shutran? That you wear it. Oh, good. I'm glad. Is that the right answer? That was spot on. You've been so good. <laughs> she loves I'm getting my brownie singing. points today. Oh, so many brownie uh, points. Hey, um, it's great that you've been with us tonight. We love having you here. Uh, if you've got any comments, definitely put them down in the spot below. And we'll be back next week, mm -hmm. as we are every week. Do we have a... Any idea what we're doing next week? Yes, because I'm actually going to be away next week because my daughters have their final like school night presentation thing. So next week it's, it's going to be, be recorded. Jeremy's top five without Kim. No, we're going to pre-record it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it'll still be same time, same bat play, same bat channel, <laughs> um, but it'll be pre-recorded. Uh, just so that those of you who are in my team who go to the school with my children don't think I'm in two places at once. Um, so I'm telling you now. <laughs> Freaks people out sometimes. Right. Yeah. Um, right. But anyway, we do have a topic for next week. And we will be back. Well, I don't know if you're watching this afterwards, but we'll be back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. So if you've signed anyone up. So if you help people get a premium starter kit and you're in our team, then we're doing another draw from our advent calendar tomorrow night. The other thing we're going to do tomorrow night is our draw from our October promos because we just didn't get it ready in time for tonight because yeah. we only just got home from Dubbo earlier today. Um, yeah. So the land is... Yeah, did I, what did I say? October. Oh. November. November. Promo. So, so the November promos. promos with the Lent Diffuser, the Dalmatia Oils and the Summer Kit. Yeah. So if you want to win a Citronella and a Mineral Sunscreen um, pack, then we're drawing that tomorrow night for anyone in our team. So Awesome. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs>